Hello, this is Sound Out here, and welcome to the WFC Review. I have all six WFCs. I've reviewed five of them, but I don't think I've reviewed them well enough. So I'm thinking, hey, why not just re-review the ones I reviewed and put in a new review at the end? I certainly can go over things in more detail, and now that I'm a better reviewer than I was in the past, well, I can show you everything that needs to be. And... We're going to get started right now. So here is WFC-01, Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker form. This is uh, Kamen Rider Double's default form, and as you can see... Okay then, um, here it is in the package. It's got kind of a, a Cyclone Joker extreme thing with this white part in the center, but it is still normal Cyclone Joker, as you can tell from the tabs on the top. A uh, nice picture of the figure there, which is heavily, like, the real figure is a lot different uh, in certain ways. Here we can see Cyclone, si Cyclone body, Joker body, uh, with the specific, with the uh, images of them on the side. On the bottom, you get the, uh, another pun a pose, same up here, Cyclone Joker. And on the back, you get all kinds of Japanese text down here. So you can see here, um, there's... You know, Cyclone Joker punching, kicking. There's it doing Joker Extreme, which is the only uh, the only double figure that I actually pull that off. Uh, surprisingly, compatible with FFR Final Form Ride from Decade. So those things didn't sell well, apparently. And they got uh, when you get all three of the first when you get the first three figures, you get to Cyclone Joker, Cyclone Metal, Cyclone Trigger, Heat Metal, Heat Joker, Heat Trigger, Luna Trigger, Heat. Luna Joker and Luna Metal. So it's saying nine forms, three figures. Which are a pretty good deal. So anyway, uh, let's open this up the only way I know how to. And that is by Hinchin. There we go. Cyclone Joker is Kamen Rider Double's primary form, colored green and black, and is accessed from the Cyclone and Joker memories. In this form, double ki Double's kicks are powered by wind, increasing the damage and adding cutting potential. This form's maximum drive finisher is a rider kick called the Joker Extreme, during which a tiny control tornado lifts Kamen Rider Double into the air before Double body splits down the middle as the halves reach their target in a drop kick fashion. A variation of this attack involves Kamen Rider Double jumping off the back of the wheel of the, off the back wheel of Kamen Rider Axel's bike form allowing for faster acceleration upon descent. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, here is Cyclone Joker, a uh, WSC figure. You know what? Actually pretty nice. Um, it's not extra accurate like the figure arts version is. But I haven't really seen a double that looks exactly like the show. The figure wars just off. But this one, you know, it's pretty good. Um, as you can see, not compound eyes, but he's got these nice reflectiveness. Uh, similar to, uh, reference to my previous, one of my previous reviews, the uh, Den Commons from Common Rider Denno had that uh, nice reflectiveness to them. So that all works well, and it's it's all good. But yeah, so and as you can see, it's got every little detail painted down here. Uh, you got all the different cuff uh, and shoulder and chest designs for the uh, different memories that are used. Even on the back, it's pretty good with the belt uh, latch there, and you get the scarf too, uh, which is removable, by the way, um, and it comes separate in the package. And it did come separate into two parts, but I'll show that later. But yeah, very nice looking. As you can see, the double driver is painted very well. It is kind of offset from the body a little bit, but it's it's pretty good. And instead of the lights down here being colored, the memories are colored, which is a bonus because that's why I didn't like about the figure arts was mainly the memories. And then the elbow joints and the knee joints were the wrong colors. But they had painted these two parts, but not very cleanly. So, yeah. 
But you know, you get the idea. It's pretty good. Now, unfortunately, because he splits down the middle, everything here is just about static. Except they did figure out a way to put neck articulation in, which is a giant plus. So as you can see, he's got um, 360 shoulders, outward shoulder movement. He's also got elbow joint. He's also got a rotation above the elbow, a wrist rotation, and then he's got his uh, a finger articulation like many Shochaku Henshins before him. Also, ball joint at hips, um, and if you put out enough force, it will just pop off like that. Um, and it's kind of a little difficult to get on. Knees bend at 90 degrees, and they rotate. Then, also the ankles on a ball joint. Again, enough force will pop it off. So, yeah. Now, the cool part is the head joint, I think. It doesn't move a lot, but you can still get upward angle movement. You can make it go this way. You can tilt it side to side. It's got this nice little this joint. And it's not like the head separating when you turn it. You also got a neck joint that will allow you to uh, do this. So, yeah. Um... Very cool. Also, I forgot to mention this, the maximum drive slot is nicely molded onto the belt there, um, which is very cool. So, the main gimmick of the first four WFCs was that they could split in half and interchange, which is actually pretty neat. Anyway, split in half here, as you can see, you've got two holes here, and then you got two pegs here. So yeah, you can't just take uh, two... To, you know, they can't go opposite and, and try to hook up uh, like some people, I guess, wish could, they could do. But as you can see here, now you can tell this is where you can access everything to open it up. Uh, you can also tell this is how the neck joint works. Um, it's on, so they get this right, it's on like a rotating plate, which is a very neat design. I'm quite impressed with it. And same on this side, except these two parts are here, and on all of the... Uh, Phillips sides, they do have the little uh, crystal, and then the, the Shotaro sides have uh, the uh, indentation for that. And it just clips right up together, and it's all nice and good. So yeah, and if you wanted to, you could make your own custom Cyclone Cyclone Joker Joker by making a Joker Cyclone, uh, if you just painted it right. <clears throat> Which I did buy a second one of these, so I can do that in the future. Sorry, double... So I can do that in the future. I'm not quite done with that as I'm still trying to figure out which paints will work the best. But yeah, that's coming up in the future and I'm probably going to make a video on it when I'm done. But yeah, so this was the first one. He, uh, again, a trial run's good. Except for the fact that really the first three were a trial run because, well, they all came out at the exact same time. But overall, this one, I would highly recommend it. If you were, have a bunch of Shochaku Henshins, or um, you have you can't find the double figure art, and you can find this guy, he's certainly worth it. Uh, there's not, he's not horrible or crappy. He's actually pretty cool. And that's what I gotta say for all of them. But yeah, enough talk about this form. We gotta move on to some other things right now now the second release which was released the exact same time as the first is heat metal form as you can tell it is now uh, red and silver with the white stripe as opposed to green and black heat bodied metal body as you can see a nice little picture of the uh, figure there with uh, nice little detailing and the image which is the same on the bottom and the heat metal uh, again, you can see there's heat side, there's metal side. On the back, you get poses of him doing the metal branding, FFR, combination, same little picture there. Bunch of text. Yeah, not much else. It's not very different from uh, the last uh, packaging. But, you know what? Let's, without further ado... Oops. There you go. 
So here's the heat metal figure. Uh, for first, he does come with extra accessories. He has the metal shaft in the storage mode, and in the longer mode with a nice little grip handle, so you can uh, combine the two together. I don't know. Anyway, this just plugs in on this hole here. And of note, you can plug the Cyclone Scarf into the uh, heat side if you so desire. But why would you want to do that? I don't know. But yeah. Heat Metal is the second form used by Kamen Rider Double. First appearing in the Decade movie, All Riders vs. Die Shocker. It's colored red and silver and accessed with the heat and metal memories. And my metal memory is apparently faulty because it's not hand shooting for me. In this form, damage from the metal shaft is increased by fire, a common tactic used by doubles to turn around while changing this form, using the metal shaft on his back to block enemy attacks. The form's maximum drive finisher is metal branding, causing one or both ends of the metal shaft to go ignite on fire to deliver a final blow to the opponent. A variation of this tack is the steam metal branding, which is, uses, which is the use of the axle's engine blade, and that was only used in the Hyper Battle DVD. But yeah, so there you go. That's pretty much all there is to know about this form. As you can see, if I just pull this in real quick, same mold, but what they did was they made these parts here removable, so that way they could change it out, and these parts are a separate piece, too. Hello, Cyclone Joker, being a camera hog. Anyways... So yeah, it, it's got new cuffs um, on the places and then across his chest. With the heat memory and the metal memory are now painted. Maximum drive slot like normal, even though this form never uses it. Uh, but yeah, same similar detail. There is some odd things on the metal side. I don't really know what that is. Um, but yeah, now you can see the metal shaft is on the back. And, you know, very nice overall. It has the exact same articulation as uh, Cyclone Joker. Of course, you can remove the metal shaft off the back or leave it on if you're not accurate. And you can attach the metal shaft to, so you can use it. Actually, it'd go this way. So you can, with the, uh, I completely forgot to show this, but so you see it's got full length um, with the memory actually inserted, which is a nice little touch. Um, very similar thing here, except there's a peg on the back. So you can have him activate the maximum drive where he's holding it out. Or you can actually have him looking like he's activating it by putting the memory in. So that is very nice that they put that detail in. Also, if you take it out of the hand there, you can grip, you can have him grip the, uh, things here. Uh, if you don't have his arm all turned around. And he can hold the metal shaft the more traditional way. Uh, like that. So yeah, very cool. Not not much else to say. Uh, he's, a neat, he's a neat little figure. Now, he is the same price as Cyclone Joker. Is he worth more because he has more accessories? In ways, yes. But, yeah, he has one more accessory than double with the scarf counting as an accessory. Or, or Cyclone Joker, sorry. But, I, it's, I don't know. It just doesn't have the same kind of appeal that Cyclone Joker form has. I just like the design of Cyclone Joker a lot better than uh, Heat Metal. But, you know, in fair reason, he's not worth it as much because he just doesn't have the appeal or the presence. Unless you're going to get all the double figures, or at least the first three WFCs, you can probably skip this guy. Um, if you're just a main rider collector or rider collector without extra forms, then you probably just want to go for uh, double or Cyclone Joker or double and just skip this guy. But anyway, uh, without further ado, we got some combo changing to do. Now the main gimmick of the line, of course, let me fix this real quick, is to be able to interchange the forms. Now, of course, because we only have two figures, we can't interchange too much. But we can interchange a couple here. So, we're just going to use and save time. Let's use, let's go ahead with... And please don't fail me this time.
Cyclone Metal is a green and silver color half change access through the Cyclone and Metal Memories. In this form, double can wield the metal shaft by means of the Metal Memories power. When swung, the metal shaft creates blades of wind by the means of Cyclone Memory. This form's maximum drive finisher is the Metal Twister, where it double spins around while swinging the metal shaft covered in an aura of wind. Let's combo change again into the other form we're allowed to make, or actually possible to make. Here we have Heat Joker. Heat Joker is the first half change form used by Kamen Rider Double when he appears in the Kamen Rider Decade film. Colored red and black and his access through the Heat and Joker memories. In this form, Double can throw flaming punches by means of the Heat memories' powers. This form's maximum drive finisher is a Rider Punch called the Joker Grenade. During which, Kamen Rider Double somersaults in the midair, then Heat Joker's body splits down the middle. During this sense, as the ha halves move each hit the target with elementally energized hooks. Now the third installment in the WFC line is Common Rider Double Luna Trigger Form. This form is the uh, the third installment. Released the same as uh, Cyclone Joker and Heat Metal. And it's also the first uh, Japanese figure I was ever to buy. So yay. Uh, as you can see it's got Luna Body Trigger Body with uh, trigger down the middle here, divide and combine, which I've neglected to point out in every package. Holding the trigger magnum, I uh, see Luna, Toyga. Anyway, on the back here you can see you got activating a trigger full burst. You got holding the trigger magnum, just kind of counting up your crimes, I guess. Standing there, final form right capability, and we'll be seeing the rest of these in this next segment. Without further ado, let's get it st this figure's review started with these memories. Now, Lunar Trigger is the form that first appears in the television... is a form that first appears in the television series. It is a gold and or yellow if in some cases, and blue form access from the Luna and Sugar memories. In this form, Double's Trigger Magnum is able to fire gold and blue bolts that can curve and track targets. This form's maximum drive finisher is the Trigger Full Burst, which fires multiple charging homing shots at the enemy. Cool. Anyway, speaking of the Trigger Magnum, you do get two with this, uh, with this figure. You get the normal one, which is mainly rapid fire shots and such with the double painted only on one side. And maximum drive mode, uh, since there was the be really tough to engineer of this sliding down and up and all that. Um, but yeah, there's the two of them. So yeah, very cool. Now, figure wise, all oh, it's Cyclone Joker with new paint and new molding here and there uh, with the uh, trigger cuffs and the Luna cuffs. There's not much else to say. Um, aside from the new molding, all you get is the two trigger magnums for uh, uniqueness. But, you know what? It's pretty cool. Uh, I must say I was happy with this. It was the first figure I got um, ever from Japan. I mean, I hadn't gotten any previous. But yeah, there he is. Um, he can be all cool and just like, yeah, I got a gun. Run. Anyway, yeah, there's not much else to say. After a while, these figures do start repeating. Uh, he can hold the, the maximum drive. I just don't feel like putting it in. It's just extra time. So, now for simplicity's sake, we're going to start with uh, the combinations these two guys will make. Well, of course, we have... Um, and... Let's go. Cyclone Sugar is a green and blue half change access through the Cyclone and Sugar memories. In this form, double wields the Sugar Magnum by means of the Sugar memories powers. It will shoot high compressed air by means of the Cyclone memories powers. This form's maximum drive figure is the Trigger Arrow Buster, firing multiple shots of pressurized air at the enemy. 
So the second combo chain or or second form change you could probably make with these guys is Luna Joker is the first half change form used by Double within the series, a gold and black colored form access through the Luna and Joker memories. In this form, Double has the ability to stretch his right limbs by means of the Luna memory's powers. This form's maximum drive finisher is a rider chop called the Joker Strange, during which Luna Joker splits down the middle and Luna Half makes four copies of itself, and all five Luna Halves execute rapid fire karate chops to the target, and then the Joker Half strikes the target with energy powered chop. Sounds pretty epic, doesn't it? So you're probably asking, well, what's left? Two more forms, that is. So using uh, some clever memory action. Heat Trigger is a red and blue colored half change access through the heat and trigger memories. In this form, Double wields the trigger magnum by means of the trigger memories powers and shoots fire blasts by the means of the heat memories powers. This form's maximum drive finisher is the trigger explosion, which fires a single constant stream of fire that completely melts the enemy. Heat Trigger is the only form of Double that has attempted to perform a twin maximum, in which the trigger magnum blasts out a massive fireball that incinerates anything in his path. Except the leather dope on. And now the final form you can make from the the first three WFCs is Luna Metals of gold and silver colored half change access to the Luna Metal Memories. In this form, Double can wield the metal shaft by means of the metal memories powers using the Luna memories. Abilities to use like a whip. This form's maximum drive finisher is the Metal Illusion. Where Double spins a metal shaft around to create golden rings that float around Double before unleashing them apart on a target all at once. Why do I have the feeling Oz's henshin was inspired by this guy's maximum drive? Now the first three WFCs are certainly worth it to get just on their own. You can interchange all nine forms with only three figures and you're only paying for three figures. Not nine figures. I so I feel sorry for figure art collectors. Anyways, these guys are great. Go ahead and get them if you see them somewhere. I would totally recommend them. But we're not done. We're only halfway done with this line. So it's time to add some to this review.